Hello everyone, thank you guys for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about creating a network on KVM. So let's get started. Alright, so the first command that we need to know is the virch net create. Um, first we need to create an XML template, um, that's how it works on KVM. And then we have some uh, reference options, so if you want to get uh, more detailed on the options that I will be going over today, that's where you can check. So the first thing we want to do is um, make sure that we configure our XML file. I already have one ready, so there's not much to do. So I named it mydns.xml. This is for something that I was working on. If we go all the way up here, we have example. We're going to call this one. We're going to call this one my kvm net um the 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 virtual bridge is what your host is going to see so i can put the 101 and then the um the the name that you see here is for kvm when you're like pretty much uh starting it or deleting it whatever you're doing with your um, network so this is at your network name the bridge is what is going to see your host is going to see is the virtual bridge whatever it's called so this one's called 101 and then this is the forwarding mode. Um, do you want it to forward to the internet or do you want that virtual switch just to be contained in the, in the network and only be able to ping other servers in the virtual network? So the next one is the IP address that we have here. This is the range. So I'm going to change it to 140. All right. So as you can see here these are the options here we have um, the IP and you see how the brackets close on the bottom so these are the options the DHCP are options in between the IP uh, brackets and then we can see here range the reason why you see that one liner and, and it's closed is because we can t have have another bracket um, that closes it with range in it also like you see how DHCP has both of them we can have the same thing for range but the only reason you will use that is because you'll probably put options instead of range um, but we're not putting any options at the moment. That's the reason why we're not doing it that way. So um, this is the uh, configuration that you need. All right. So now we're going to um, auto. Uh, we're going to create it. So let's go to. Net create. And then um, you designate the file that you're going to use. And once we do that, said network my KVM net created from my DNS.xml. Now, if we do virch the net list, as you can see, my KVM.net is there. As said, is auto start no, persistent no. Um, so the way you can do that is by using the um, auto start command if you want to do that. And you will just have to put your network name in. So let's say if I want to do my default one, it's already auto started. It auto starts already, but it'll say marked as auto started already. I can also take it all out if you really wanted to. You would have to do um, disable. And then when you do that, you put the network name, and that's how you will disable it if you wanted to. All right. So the XML options that I was talking about, some of them are bridge name, forward mode, domain, range, start, and end. And this is some of the options that we can use. This is to uh, start um, to start your network. So OB virch um, net start. So it won't be start. That's a typo. It should be uh, net start for this one. And this will start the network that you configured. And then we have Virch Auto Start. This will auto start it upon boot. So when your host starts, you should enable the KVM. Uh, and then when KVM boots on its own, then it will boot its virtual networks. And then that will auto start the virtual network. And then we have Virch Net DHCP leases. This will give you the DHCP leases in the designated virtual network that you have. And the Virch Net Dump XML. This will just um, dump the XML of your network. So now let me just uh, get back here. So now we can see the net start. We can do net start and then we can um, start uh, the MyKVM. Oh, 
Okay, so it looks like it's already started. Cool. All right, you can also we can also do the um, DCP leases on there. So if we do this, right, for let's say for the one that we just made, we won't see anything on here. But if I go to the default one, which is the one that I use at the moment, as we can see here, it has more information. So as you can see here, um, you have the actual name, you have the client and UUID, and then the protocol that he uses, IPv4. We have the IP address in that virtual network. And then we also have like the name of the host names. So we have like Ansible, I got some web servers, some DNS servers, things like that. So that's how you check it with the DHCP leases, which is pretty cool. And if we do the net dump XML, let's pick the network. We can do my KVM. If we do this, this will dump the actual file. And when it dumps the file, you can actually see your configuration. If you ever want to update it, you can just uh, use net edit. And then same thing. Um, a lot of the uh, conventions, are very, the flags are very similar, so it's not too hard. So if you do this, I can now edit it. I'm in edit mode now, so I can come here. I can literally just insert. So that's pretty much it. Um, the great thing is if once you set this up, you can do virch net and then you can double tap. You get a lot more options. You can like undefine it, you can destroy it. Um, you can uh, create it. Um, there's event, there's list, there's info. Like so net info, we can use that command on what network on default. If you get more information, let's do it on the KVM. So let's do it on KVM, oh she, my KVM net. As you can see, it's active, it's persistent. Auto start is not on, I can turn that on. As you see the virtual bridge 101, as you can see the virtual bridge zero, that virtual bridge zero is actually um, what, the, um, what the virtual machine see, like the actual like interface or the actual like uh, bridge or whatever. So vir uh, virtual bridge zero. So let me show you an example really quick. I'm going to use vert viewer and then I'm going to go to web server 2. I'm going to start it and then let me just uh, change my screen real quick. Okay. So now that we're here, we can see some more information. So if we do um, NMCLI device show. And we go up here, we can see our device name, we can see the type, we can see our connections, EN, ENPS0, what is on the actual virtual machine, right? It's connected to the network, as we can see, the 122.1, that's the default one, not the one that we set up, but the um, default one that we had earlier. And then, if we go back to, let me exit out of here. Now, if we go back to here, as we can see... Um, if we do the net dump, let me do the net dump real quick. I was just showing you the network that was on, so that way you can see that it relates. So we do uh, net dump XML for default. As you can see on this one, um, 122 was the range, as you can you saw on that web server, that um, it had that IP, the same exact IP address, which is pretty cool. Now, what we can do is um, check the actual interfaces on my server. I can do IPA, and then I can, I'm going to grep for ver As you can see, when I do that, we can see the ver bridge 101, because I have multiple of them. But you see the ver bridge 101, and you can see that network that I made, the 1010.140.1. So if we go back to net dump and then I go back to um, my KVM, the one that I made, as you can see here, the network starts at 140. So that's what the host sees. So that's what like the actual host that it's hosted on, um, it sees. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you can see the um, network there. 
all right guys uh thank you guys for watching um that's it if you want to learn how to change your actual host to another network that you configured um that will be another video if i get enough likes then i'll make that video uh thank you and have a great day everyone bye